Now let's talk a little bit about how you transfer attributes and parameters between elements. If you don't know uh, about the um, transfer option in ARCHICAD, uh, let me just describe it a little bit first. Okay? Uh, the transfer parameters um, or pickup parameters and inject parameters are these two uh, icons here. Uh, in essence, if you hold your Alt button down, it'll enable what looks like an eyedropper. And an eyedropper, when you drag it across an element, will then grab the attributes of that element. So you can then start to use those attributes and, and, and create new walls that have those same properties. And if you grab those attributes, you can also inject them into uh, another element. So for example, if I, I, I've dragged my uh, eyedropper to a window and I've grabbed the attributes of those elements, um, I can now go over to another window that's in my project. And if I hold down the Control Alt or on the Mac, the Alt Op command, uh, then it would allow me to then um, enable the uh, uh, syringe and then I can actually inject that those properties into another element. You can also access these two options by simply going up to your toolbar, and then you can simply click the eyedropper or click the syringe. And you can also do it through menu commands. So if you go down to you know, up to your edit menu to element settings, and then you can pick up parameters or inject parameters from here as well. And so in essence, as I mentioned, um, when you hold down that Alt key and you drag uh, your cursor across to pick up those parameters. You can simply drag it, and it'll turn to a different, uh, that icon will come up. As you drag it across, it'll change the color uh, to also uh, indicating to you that it's, it's enabling um, that pickup uh, um, option. And again, if I uh, press and hold the Control-Alt or Alt-Command on Mac, the cursor will change to a uh, uh, syringe looking icon. And I drag it over to another element. So if I've already picked it up off of this element, right? And I drag it to this element and I click, um, it's going to now change that element to look like the other one. We also have at ARCHICAD now um, something called selective transfer. Uh, selective transfer allows me to actually uh, uh, move. Um, uh, parameters between different elements, uh, but to select specifically what parameters I want to move between elements. And so whenever I, I hold down that syringe, it allows me to uh, select if I want to just transfer everything, or if I want to select specific, uh, and it, you know, exclude specific types of parameters, um, you know, and, and, and pick presets that can actually really help me and in controlling what I'm transferring between elements. And so the way that works, of course, is when I hold my syringe over, I can just click the, I can click default and just inject it in, or I can move my cursor down and if I've got presets, for example, let's say like without size and elevation, then what that allows me to do is I can transfer the elements of this particular uh, window, right? But without the size and elevation parameters. So when I transfer it over to this window and it changes it to this, it looks like that window, except that the width for this particular window is, is maintained, uh, but it, trans it changes it to look like a different window, which is the window of the parameters that I had uh, originally um, uh, grabbed uh, in, my, in using the eyedropper. Now, if you want to edit your element settings for your transfer settings, the way you do that is you go up to your edit menu, you go down to your element settings and you go and open your element transfer settings. And then that element transfer settings dialog will open up. I'll talk about this in a second. Um, but you can also open it up a couple other ways. Uh, if I'm in my favorites palette, I can click this little icon over here. I can go, I want to click opens up and then I can go down and open my element transfer settings from there as well. I can also open it up uh, in the favorites apply uh, button. So whenever I am going to apply those, those uh, in my favorites, apply those parameters, um, I can then go down to the bottom of those presets and I can come down here and I can open the transfer settings from here. And also whenever I'm using that inject uh, 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 cur uh, syringe cursor, and you see that, uh, you can go over here and I can pick from one of the presets or again, I can go down to the bottom and pick the element transfer settings uh, button to open up this dialog. 
once that dialog is open, there's a couple things we can do. Uh, first, um, you can actually go in and you can control what you see in this dialog. So for example, if I go to the, the, to the upper right here, I'll see this little uh, wheel button, if I open it, I can then uh, sort or I can view uh, these different uh, optional settings for my uh, transfer options by tool or by setting. So you can see here where it shows by tool or by setting. And then once I've done that, I can also go in and check which settings I want to have enabled. So by simply turning on and off a uh, rotation, I could do that. I could turn off structural function or not. I could turn off title or not. So in other words, anything I have checked is going to be transferred. Anything that's not checked will not be transferred. Also, we can manage the sets. I'm just going to go back to one second. Actually, just to make sure, I think I may have had it backwards. Anything that is checked is transferred. So, so ones that you have checked will be transferred. Um, and ones that are not checked will not be transferred. Um, on the import-export. So import-export, sometimes you want to export or import settings. Um, maybe you created another project or um, that you, you know, found through another template uh, that you uh, are using. Uh, maybe it was an RCAD template or something else template that, that you were sent. In any case, if you want to import or export parameter settings, you use these two buttons right there. And that will allow you to import and export those uh, settings. Also, if you want to set certain defaults as favorites, you can basically just go right over to the uh, uh, edge here, and I can actually click which ones are going to be available for my favorites. And then they're available in my favorite settings. That is our Learn Virtual Tips of the Week.